Actually, in the right position, I think. Hi right, guys, Flying Dots here. Uh, just going to give you a quick little tour. Um, sort of going through the house. Uh, there's Delia. Hello, Delia. Hello, Delia. Having a little sleep again. Wish I was. Right, let's go back through here. Just going into the kitchen. All the tassels. Right, through the back door. And hey, the sun's come out. There's my little HHO friends here. Swimming about in HHO. Some breakfast. Okay, guys. God, it's just murder not having someone filming for you. Alright, here we go. Just coming up to uh, HHO Central. Watch the spiders. Whoa, a big spider. There's a huge one living under there. End of the summer. And winter. Alright, here we are. HHO Central. And uh, here's my power supply. It's uh, 40 amp DC regulated power, 13.8 volt power supply. Got it off eBay. Pretty cheap. Little volt measurer. And uh, that's my little groovy pulse width modulator I made. With crisp little groovy digital lights on the top. That's about a 30 amp pulse width modulator. Um, actually with that I've just replaced on the back these little power blocks. You can see them, you can see what's happened. Just burnt out, got too hot. Plastic joining blocks, pile of crap. No good for a positive modulator. What you need is little ceramic blocks. Ones. All right. This is the system I've got going at the moment. There's uh, two cells there uh, joined together at the top there. And it uh, comes out of here, top of the cell. Goes up to a balloon, there's a one way valve there, and uh, to a balloon, and then that tees off along there and goes to this red balloon. And then after the balloon, yeah, there's a little flashback arrestor, that's a little pro uh, uh, propane uh, flashback arrestor. There's actually a little valve inside it, and uh, it wasn't getting enough HHO through quick enough, so I just undone the nuts just here, opened the whole thing up, took the gubbins out, chucked it, put a couple of towels in the end, filled it full of um, bronze wire wall, perfect little flashback arrestor. That goes up over there, through the pipe, through the pipe, through the pipe, and comes up to the end where I've got a pen. Well, no, that's just blocking it off at the moment. Uh, what I usually put on that is um, a hydrogen torch. Whack that in there. And, uh, see what we've got. There we go. Serious. Move this over. And get in there a bit. I think I ain't got a zoom on this camera, it's just a little digital camera. And, uh, move it over there. Give a bit of grief to this now. Oh, almost forgot to put my safety glasses on.
give it a go. See if I'm cutting this, I've forgotten to put my glasses on. Pretty powerful stuff. And it's about three sixteenths of an inch of steel there. Anyway, I won't bore you any longer with that. Uh, it's just a little hydrogen torch. And just cut that off. That's it. The flashback arresters take care of that. Make me goggles off so I can see what I'm doing. Lock that off again. Alright, put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Cells there, a little bit of history. Look at that old thing there, stainless steel. Yeah. I did make a new one of those out of pizza cutters, but that was one of the early ones. Uh, that's just all negative, positive, negative, positive. But, um, it's, um, it's no good anymore. Yeah. There's another old early one, first one. That was the um, Double barrel, old flashback the rest of there, and uh, a little bit of HHR right there, and there. Gonna turn it off so it blows that pop. That's it. And I've got a little uh, circuit breaker on the side of there as well. Saves on the old fuses. And uh, that's about it for now. Um, all these cells and different little bits I'm just using for HHO torch now um, because they're not as efficient as they could be uh, I'm going to go over to dry cells hydrogen is the future let's go people Woohoo!